I'm not running for anything. I actually am a, a bureaucrat now. I started out my life as an advocate, but I've moved over into the bureaucracy. About a year ago, uh, due to budget cuts, uh, one of the things that we did was consolidate all of our office spaces. And we moved into a building that was safe, which was good. Um, our old building, uh, we had rats in the basement and some other challenges, and I saw Tim Belcher here. I'm sure there were probably some uh, safety and health complaints from, and we're responsible for enforcing safety and health laws. So we did move into a nice, clean, safe building. But the building didn't have any character, didn't have any heart. And so what we decided to do was a mural and that did represent not only the history of our state and our labor movement, but also the hope for the future. So we put out an RFP um, and did, we worked with the uh, Human, um, with the Arts Commission, so we did a statewide, it was restricted to only main artists, and we asked for proposals. And we received about 60 different proposals. The Arts Commission and some of our staff looked at those proposals and selected three. And then we met again to look at rough drawings of these three proposals. And I need to tell you that even though we had some terrific um, proposals in front of us, there was one that just stood head and shoulders among all of them. And that was the one that we selected, and the artist is Judy Taylor. And Judy's been painting here in Maine for 15 years. She's an artist in residence at Acadia National Park. She does have a website, which is judytaylorstudio.com. But Judy has worked over the last year with Charlie Scantras um, to put together a mural that we unveiled about a week ago that we are incredibly proud of. And what you see today are just uh, the small sizes of the panels. And I'd like to turn it over to Judy and just say how, how happy we are that in the main Department of Labor, we, when you walk into that building now, you know that you are um, in a building where people respect the uh, workers of our state. And Judy, I'd like to just thank you. Um, this was a really great job for me to get. Um, when I was a student studying, I wanted to study and be a figurative painter. I wanted to do great figurative work in the old narrative style, um, which had great stories, um, was heartfelt, emotional. Being a figurative artist, I got portrait commissions. Um, you know, I do landscapes, I do other, of my own figurative work. And uh, I did get one big portrait commission. And um, in the, I want to say that working with these people at the Department of Labor was such a pleasure in contrast. That portrait commission, every 15 minutes, the woman walked around to look at my painting and objected about the hair or objected about the uh, clothes or something that I, that I did, fully made up. Uh, it, was a, it was not a labor of love. Um, <laughs> this commission, when I first saw the call for artists, I said, this is, this is my gig. I got I to gotta get this job. This is what I studied for. This is what I went for. And um, I was thrilled to receive it. And I worked all year in the studio. And the, Charlie, um, thank God for email. Uh, he was my instructor and my mentor throughout the whole process. And the women of the labor department were fantastic to work for. And I hope you go see the mural. And another lesson that I learned from a teacher of mine when I studied a piece of artwork, when I would go to a museum, rather than try to see everything, I would sit with one painting and would imagine that I was the painter of that painting. This helped teach me technique, and this also helped me teach me something else about getting involved with the painting. And I ask, if you do go to Augusta, just to sit with the mural and kind of walk with the people that I put in, in, the, in the panel. Thank you very much. And I will tell you in, in segue to this commission, I did get commissions. 